War Gaming's Who Would Win? Mini Wargamer Dave here from MiniWarGamer.com. Welcome, Wargamers, to another Who Would Win. Today's matchup is Scarbrand, which has uh, been converted here by this uh, Balrog model, versus these three Demon Princes. Now, it's not going to be these three Demon Princes all together. It's going to be one at a time to see who the victor is. The reason why it's one at a time is because, well, it's kind of done with points, because these guys are actually more expensive than Scarbrand. But, according to the stats, Scarbrand is a beast. And according to popular demand, because people wanted to see how Scarbrand would fare against anything, not just something in specific, but uh, they wanted to see how he would do. So we're going to fight him against these Demon Princes with their perspective marks. Slanesh with the Murder Sword, Nurgle with Black Mace, and Korn with Axe of Blind Fury. This is uh, the matchup that you are about to see. And if you're a Vault member, stay tuned for the next matchup, which is... Demon Prince of Zinch with three Psychic uh, Powers, and also the Burning Brand of Skelthrax, then a Bloodthirster with Exalted Rewards and Greater Rewards, and then Bellicor to see if anything can really take him out. Because I, I have a funny feeling that it'll be close, but Scarbram will win, but that's why we make these videos, to see who would win. So let's take a look at their stats. Taking a look at Scarbrand first, he is a monstrous creature and he's got Warp Forge armor, which means he's got a 3 up save. He has Death Incarnate as a Warlord trait, which means that his close combat attacks inflict instant death. He's a Demon of Corn, which gives him Furious Charge and Hatred towards Slanesh, which is the Demon Prince that he's fighting in this first matchup. Demonic Instability and uh, Deep Strike. He has uh, the Bellow of Endless Fury, which is a template weapon, Strength 5, Assault 1, and he's Rage Embodied which is another special rule that he has, which means that Scarbrand and all units, friend and foe, within 12 inches of him, have rage and hatred special rules. So he's going to be granting that to whatever he's fighting. So we'll see if that helps whatever he's fighting or not. Hellforge artifacts, he's got two, Slaughter and Carnage. They are both user AP2 melee. Slaughter is Fleshbane and Carnage is Armorbane. So it looks like he is good against anything, whether it's a an infantry model or it's a vehicle. Now for his actual stats, he's got weapon skill, blister skill 10, strength and toughness 6, 5 wounds, initiative 10, 6 attacks, leadership 9, and a 3 up save. For 225 points, I don't know how you can go wrong. I mean, that is really inexpensive. Now today my opponent is Alex. Hi. How's it going, Alex? Pretty good. So you're going to be fielding all of the other Demon Princes, and I'll be fielding Scarbrand. Does that sound yeah. good? Yeah, lay him to the slaughter, it seems, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's take a look at the Slanesh Demon Prince. So we have a Demon Prince with the Marcus, or Demon of Slanesh, and he gains Hatred Demons of Corn, which is perfect for this matchup. Um, he's also equipped with the Murder Sword, and normally the Murder Sword is Strength User, um, AP3, but he has a special rule of Murder, and of course we're going to use that against um, Scarbrand. So we're going to be having him be strength times two, so he's going to be strength ten. AP becomes one and has the instant death special rule. So that's going to be really helpful against him if he gets a swing, because of course he is only demon print stats, which are a weapon skill nine, ballistic skill five, strength five, toughness five, wounds four, initiative eight, and five attacks, and leadership nine. We give him wings because that will help him fly around and be more maneuverable, so hopefully he'll get the charge off. But we didn't give him uh, power armor just because it would be kind of pointless because everything that's getting thrown at him will ignore it. And that's about it we got for him. Alright, may the best man win. I can roll to see who goes first. Five. Three and five. I'm going to go first. Okay. So I'm going to move forward 12 with him, just moving right up as far as I can. About there. So you're not in glide mode, or you're not in swoop no, mode? No, I'm just going to start off in... Um, you're not in swoop mode. So not in swoop just, mode. You're just jumping. Okay. Just jumping, yep. Gotcha. So you're 12 inches away from me right now. Yep. And now I'm going to roll for my charge, because there's no shooting. So I'm just going to charge on in there. Do you want to overwatch? Definitely. Bellow of Endless Fury, Wall of Flame. I get one hit with this. It's a strength 5, so I wound you on a 4. And that is a wound. 5 right, up, demon five save. Ah, uh, we're good. Save. Perfect. Awesome. All right, so I have a 12 inch charge, but I have fleet, so I can reroll this if I don't get it. Come on! Oh, I'm going to reroll both. And not a nope. But it was six. And oh, that is two oh, times. Oh, look at that. What is that? Now, Scott Brand Terran, I'm going to move forward six inches, and then I'll shoot you with the bellows. And that wounds. All right. Five so. up, demon save. Oh, and good again. again. I love it. Just Now it's time to engage in close combat. I'm going to roll a die, and I'll get eight because I'm corn. Oh, no. Oh, seven. I get seven. But still, that's in. Great. And we'll hammer of wrath. We'll start with that. That is a wound. 
And he saved it. It was off camera, but I got it there. So I'm being, I hit at initiative 10, so I'm gonna hit you first with nine attacks. So I have seven and then I have rage. I hit you on threes. And re-roll of hatred. That's right. And that's that many. Pleasure. And then twos to wound. And that's uh, all wounds, and so you gotta make all these five up saves. All right, five here we up. go. Five up demon save, five up demon save. Oh, yeah. And my hits do inflict instant death, and you are not eternal warrior, so he is just dead. I don't think it would matter, look at that. So I think that's pretty clear cut, that the demon of Slanesh would never beat Scarbrand. I, I think it's no. fair to say yeah. that there's, yeah, that's that was just disgusting. not a match. That was, uh, yeah. So uh, let's do this. Let's do the demon prince of Nurgle, might get lucky. Uh, that's rolling to go first. I, I will go first. Okay. So you're moving 12 over in that direction. Yes, Dang. trying to get behind cover, so when you charge me, I go with my initiative. Ah. Well, uh, I'm going to take the bait. I'll move six, and then I'll run. One. So I don't think I have fleet, so that's just another inch, and then now it's your turn. Excellent. Just going to move right here, right behind cover, and hopefully you'll get the charge on me. And now, Scarband up six. And now that's a ten-inch charge. Let's see if I can make that. Uh, it's nine. Oh. I don't quite make it. And I'm just going to stand here and taunt him and stick out my tongue at him. And I'm going to move forward six, and now I'm four inches away. Can I make this charge? Actually, <laughs> oh, perfect. I, I should have shot you with my uh, template weapon. You... I'm going to say no. I don't want to take off a wound before I get you in close combat because I'm confident. <laughs> oh, I see. I, I see. Yeah, I think oh, you can yeah, still yeah, take yeah, him out. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Okay. But anyway, he's in, he's in combat now with him, and that's uh, Hammer of Wrath. So we just realized that Hammer of Wrath is base strength, and my base strength is... Ten. No, it's six. Oh, is it? Yeah. I uh, weapon skill, blitz skill ten. Right. Okay. Good. Okay. Good. Never mind. Sweet. And it's your weapon that gives you instant death, right? Not the actual model. That's correct. Okay. So my hammer wrath wounds you on a three, not a two. Yeah. Which is what I did for the Slanesh one, which was an error, but uh, you saved it anyway. So that's, that's a, wound. a wound. And five plus in bone save. Oh uh, nope. That's so he takes a wound. Black Mace, Demon Weapon attacks, you get three. three. So eight attacks re-rolling because I get hatred? Because so of you, or because of me. And because hitting on ran. fours. Yeah. Hitting on fours, re-rolling. And for the re-roll, you're gonna need some more of these. Oh, uh, okay, that's a bit better. Now Flesh Bane, two plus. And that's oh, that's every one of them, that's sweet. Good. That's good. Five up, Invuln. So that's four wounds. Nice. I do have five in total. Oh, <laughs> that's uh... I hit you back, nine attacks, threes, re-rolling. And that's all it's. Now two's to wound. Five up him, I'll say. Stranger Things! Ah, oh, he's dead. Yeah. Goodbye. So I think for that last matchup there, I think I could have been killed. Yeah, yeah. definitely. I um... rolled statistically, you had six wounds and I saved two of them. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but I could have got unlucky and I could have died there, so there was a chance. And I rolled pretty good with my attacks, though. Got a lot of four ups for the um, hitting and stuff, so I could have had something to do with it, too. But That's and true. then the um, the fleshbane really helped out, too, with the um, black mace. That is correct, yeah. Now, Demon Prince of Corn, let's uh, roll to see who's gonna go first. Six and four. four. So I'm gonna go first. Scarbrand up six inches. Then I'll run two. Demon Prince of Corn, moving up 12. Right there. All right, so now Scarbrand move up six. That's five inch charge I need. But first this time, before I forget, I'm gonna shoot you with my billows, wounding on, not that. Awesome. So that's fail. And let's see if I can make the charge of five inches. And I do. Oh. Eight! Oh! oh we're both corn, we're both corn, so it's okay. Hammer of Wrath, on a three. Five up in vol. Nope. Oh. Axe of Blind Fury is a demon weapon. Oh. And you get so oh, that's what I need. Alright, hitting on fours, re-rolling. Uh, not bad, I'll take. And the re-roll. <laughs> oh, all but one. Oh, that's ten hits. We... Strength eight, tough to six, you wound on twos. Oh, oh we can do it. Alright, that's nine wounds. I gotta get a bad roll here for me to fail. Oh. And oh, I do. Oh, look I at that. I do, yes. So he goes down. <laughs> oh, Demon Prince of Corn. Nice. Okay, so what are your thoughts on that? So, just thinking now in hindsight, um, looking at how well the Demon Princes did when they went into cover and they got their initiative first, 
Um, if I would have done that with the Sinesh one, then his instant death would have just um, rocked him, probably right off the bat. So um, definitely that's the strategy to go with if you want to beat the guy. Just go first and hope that he you have to kill him in one shot or else you're just toast. Really, yeah. Vault members, click on the link below to see our next matchup. Scarbrand versus Bellicor, a Demon Prince of Zinch with three psychic powers and a Bloodthirster. It's gonna be awesome. If you're not a Vault member, we invite you to click on the link below and sign up for a free seven day trial so that you can see this matchup. Vault members do help to support us and they allow us and enable us to make these mini battle reports and all of the other content that you watch on Mini Wargaming. So we wish to thank you for that and we'll see you in the next Bat Rep.